Welcome to Hidebound. Please check that your headphones are working correctly. You will now hear a voice in the left ear of your headphones. You should now hear my voice in the left ear of your headphones. You will now hear a voice in the right ear of your headphones. You should now hear my voice in the right ear of your headphones. If these voices are in the wrong ears, please turn your headphones around. You will not be able to experience the show as intended if your headphones are not working correctly. It'll get your system used to it. Drink. It's just old into juice. Don't worry now. It's just an anesthetic, and afterwards you should be fine. Ready? That's right, there we are. Now let's count down from ten, okay? Ten. Hello? Eric? 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 Hello? They said, kid, no quick masquerading as Superman, and you'd make a damn fine Lois Lane. Give up the secret identity, no more double life for you. Sun, fun, and a bun in the oven. Slough off the old and embrace the new. I am glad I've gone for the good life. Forget good, yeah. You'll never tire, miss, of the good life here amongst the lambdas. You'll land on your feet and how? Flip off your fins in favour of fresh air frolics and first-class freedom. Kick off your flippers and slip into something a little more comfortable. Swap your penny pads for a pinafore. Oh, he's quite the cat. Your slick, silky sleekness has reeled him in. But you're the one who's in lackety luck luck Sensitive, patient... Persistent. Haven't you always wanted a man who sees you, truly sees you? Wouldn't you rather be here than there? Well, he's been watching. Oh, how he's been watching. He's been biding his time. When the moment's right, he'll make his move. Ready or not, here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Hello? 
Eric! Oh, hey, sweetie. What's happening? Why can I not see? Oh, relax, angelfish. You don't have any eyes. How? I... Why? You're, you're I... fine. Right now, you're still out from the anaesthetic. Well, your human body is. Your pelt, your seal skin, that's you. What's me? Where am I? I don't understand. Well, first off, you're not really you. You're just an old part of you. And a part that you, the real you, was willing to give up. Now your human half's out there, and your silky soul is in here. Baby, it worked. I mean, I know it might be a lot to take in, but you aren't real. You're like an echo, or the echo of an echo. You'll just wind down in the dark, like a watch without a battery, and your human self is going to be allowed to live a happy life on land with me. Understood? My body may yet die like those before. See, that's where you're most probably wrong. The chairing of the silky belt was, I admit, a trauma. They never really had the will to live on Earth. But now, you and every other silky on Earth, if they want, will want, you'll see the benefits of life out of water. You should be grateful that I never skinned your hide before now. You're the lucky one. The one that got away. So you should be thanking me, silky. I've worked so hard on this. Oh, please. Leave my body where right now she lies. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, it's all done. Oh, Belisama, grant my rights to life. No, 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 no. There is no pity. For pity, for nobody. For sweetheart. You aren't real anymore, sweetheart. You're just old information. Best hang on to that idea. And your memories. The skins would be separated, stripped, bound, and archived in storage units. What happened to them, though? Did the spirits just fade away? Spirits? You are easily spooked. You make it sound like having your tonsils out. Trust me, there's no hocus pocus about this. There were no spirits. Before, I used to feel heavy, weighed down, like I always wanted to get back in the water. Before. <sighs> morning, darling. Well, morning, sweetheart. Do you know, I feel ever so fresh. Sort of free. Light. Mm. When I was on land before, I used to feel heavy, weighed down. Like I always wanted to get back into the water. And I did, didn't I? Well, I'd spend more time at the river than here with you. I know. Not looks like you got through the night this time. Come here. You did the right thing. I feel so strange. There's a sort of sweet, earthy smell to being all human. It reminds me of something. Oh, but I can't place what it is. Have you had any thoughts about your name? My name? I don't remember. I don't remember what it was before. Giving out names. Surgically separating pelts. Submissive, subservient yes, wives. They were happier this way. You can't deny it. 
I know you swam here, Kiki, so you'll know. Underwater isn't exactly hospitable, is it? It's like... For humans, it's just a dream. Like going to outer space. They imagine it's wonderful and, I don't know, colourful and coral. But it's not. It's dark and cold and dangerous. Human life offers security and the possibility of real happiness. So you, you do understand, Kiki. You, you are a good woman. <laughs> I can tell. Sometimes it feels like everyone's just missing something. You seem whole. Do I? I'm not. I know. You are. It feels like your outline is more there, not faded like mine is. Not so terrified of making the wrong decisions. I'm so, so terrified. Why are you here? You can't have just swum over for the thrill of it. But don't you have a family to return to? A partner? Pets? I mean, it's not like I'd have anyone to tell. I'm all alone in the world. Probably worse than that. Half alone. About to leave it all. Kim. And start from scratch again. Again. How can you tell when you're making the right choice? The storm has stopped. You can see the stars. It's almost nicer when the moon isn't full. You can see more. There's Venus. I fell in love. That was how I knew. kissed me. We kissed. It was my birthday. The last time I competed, before all of this, I was 23. There was just something about him. I didn't know who I was then, though. When he kissed me, well, you have to ask yourself, what does that mean? I knew what it meant for me. I felt like he was seeing the woman in me. The real me. Anyway, afterwards I came out publicly as trans. You probably saw it on the telly. You were barred from competing. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. You can't do anything about it. It's not your fault. Anyway, I did it. I came out, I started my transition, I, I stopped swimming, and I did that because I loved it so much I couldn't bear to do it if people were going to make me miserable about it, and they were making me so miserable about it. Around the same time, I came out to my dying, dying grandmother, my beloved Lala. I had lived with her. And, well, of course, she already knew. She had always known, somehow, since she died. I had even less idea where to go or what to do. Swimming was the only thing I'd ever been good at, and though I was keeping my feet firmly on the ground, I still felt a little like I was drowning. I needed to scatter her ashes here, because... I came out to her, and she, in a way, came out to me, said I had a right to know about our heritage, if I was in fact a woman, and that every woman in our family, in, on her side at least, had been sulky folk. Kiki. When I reached Kirkwall, I looked out over the sea. I was told to go over to Anglana, to the guest house. Offered a boat. 
but I had to swim. Jenny? There? There is someone out there. No, look! Key, Walking up no from the one. beach! The door's bolted. And they won't be able to oh come God, in. they're nearly here. Hide! Behind the sofa! The blanket! She's gone into the back room. Why are you talking? Because we could, we should get out. She doesn't know we're here. Well, she's going to know we're here if you're talking like that. I was whispering. Oh, you're quietly screaming. We're not. We're quietly screaming. Oh, oh, who are you? Like moonlight and nothing special. Who are you? Well, I'm nobody. I'm Jane. Jenny. This is Kiki. I'm terribly sorry, but I didn't catch your name. That's none of your concern. Terribly sorry if we offended you. We were spending the night in from the storm Storm's and uh... over. I've never seen either of you about you, Selkie folk. No. Yes. What? No. Yes. Well, are you or aren't you? I was, yes, but only half. River. Yes, I only found out recently. They're all gone now. Taken all out of the sea, you can't be, Selkie. Are you sure you aren't humans? We don't know. You're as good as humans to me. Look like humans. <laughs> Smell like humans. I came for my Lala. She was selfie folk. She lived here a long time ago. Well, in Kirkwall. Her name was... She here? No, no. She died. I scattered her ashes there at Kirkwall in the sea. She will be around here somewhere then. Fear. I'm not going to bite you. Or am I? You should leave this shack. It will fall off the cliff and into the sea any day now. The sea wants to claim back what's hers. Why have you come here? Hide. What? Collecting hides. What? For the half-dead silky folk living on land. Many so sick. Many dead already. Many on the way out. Called to me. Maybe... That's why you're here. Lost your pelts. I never right. had one to begin with. Oh, that's easily remedied. You will have one and you just don't know it yet. You haven't met her yet. She'll be out there somewhere. It's just a question of finding her. You have an altogether different problem. Where are these pelts you're looking for? All stored. Secret. Like a mighty mess, humans. How do you know? I killed a man. That was you. Weren't you there? You saw it. You saw I it? I didn't. 
I didn't see it all. I, I just needed to know where Eric was, where he was going. I just needed to know where Eric was going, what he was doing on those nights. Forgot in cruel happiness that even lovers drown. That's life. Well, death. Life, death. Doesn't mean much to us now, eh? Sucky folk are half in, half out anyway? Not all of them. Wasn't that... Josh. Josh. He was trying to free you, to save you. Josh, Josh, so what if he was? He'd have had my skin in a moment. I saw what happened to the others, torn right off their backs. What did they do, eh? Just like what they do to the sharks. Worse than what they did to the whales. I remember in the old days when men would chase our cetacean cousins. They'd harpoon them, stab at them until their lungs collapsed and their hearts split cascade of crimson that would choke those leviathans. It was grotesque. A surging, frothing, bubbling mess of whale puke and whale shit and whale blood. All caused by this little, this tiny human being on a boat. I knew what human was then. I saw the history and the future of using and abusing in that moment. So yes, I killed him. One less human to worry about. People think of whale song as beautiful. Whale song is the song of mourning. The whales haven't forgotten. They sing like we do. Oh, silky song. The beautiful voices. The command of... Oh, they were always called something. What do they call you? No. Haven't you been paying any attention? Not every Selkie. It's just a myth. You start making out that we are these beautiful, otherworldly beings who don't spit and shit and <coughs> ah, bleed. See? You give them the men the men, some excuse to say, well, I couldn't help it. She was just so beautiful. I couldn't help myself. And that's why there's no Selkies left. I'm, I'm sorry. Where exactly did you say you were from? The sea. Where are you from, Jenny? Finchley. I... The point is, my husband, he was the one. He'd send the men down there to get the Selkies. He was the one who arranged the operations later. He was the one that's... that's made me live here. On this wretched island, rotting away without my soul. He's away. He might be back by now, but he won't find me here. I was going to go to the water when I found you. You Kiki. die without your pelt. Oh, how any sulky lives in the sea now, they I don't. don't know. They just don't. There are more fish than there ever have been in the Firth, but... They're all whiting, no herring shoals, no monkfish, or cod, or ling, or halibut, no turbot, no place, no skate, or spur dog, or sprat, no pollock, or haddock, no eel, or sunfish, no carish, shark, no basking sharks, or blue sharks, or threshers, no kippers, or mackerel, or my favorite, sardines. Everything used to be balanced. Now it's just whiting. I think it's the same on land, except everything is human. Eventually he'll be alone. He won't survive that. What river was it again? 
It's like I can't remember. I don't even remember my name. But I remember being a seal. And wanting to be a seal. Otherwise... Otherwise, all I can feel is this horrible human body dying all around me. It's enough to... What are you doing? There was a river seal in the storage what container. Are you... Here! No! It won't... You cannot be without your pelt. You cannot live without your soul. It won't... I can't... You can't just go... Uh. Here! It's sealed. I can't... The algae. Oh, no. Nearly? No. Uh. Uh. And in a moment of dumb horror, I watched. I watched as Jenny lay sobbing over the rotten carcass of seal skin that lay sodden on the floor. I watched as cases were brought up, many hidden beneath the floorboards, each thrown and smashed all over the place. The pelts, some half dead, some squirming, alive, followed this stranger's command. She stepped back over the threshold of the station, and just as she was leaving, Jenny's skin, crumpled, defeated, slithered across the floor and up into the stranger's arms. Jenny was broken. I wasn't exactly whole, but then, following the stranger in the pre-dawn moonlight, we all began to walk together, the pelts alongside us, down to the beach. My Lala used to say, She'en Ruchim. Marashina Gahos Agashrut Ayochim Nata. There is human time, and there is wild time. I walked into the water. <laughs> 